Hi everyone, welcome back to Useful Genetics. This is the start of module two, the overview video, where I'm going to give you a bit of a flavor and perspective on what's coming up in this module. The module's about mutations, so you might think it was going to be pretty dry. I mean, how interesting can changes in molecules be? But in fact, mutations cut to everything that we care about. Um, we talk about harms and benefits, stability and variation, um, research importance and personal significance topics such as cancer. We'll talk about immediate changes and evolutionary changes, the kinds of mistakes that molecular machines make, and we'll be tying together physical changes and informational changes. Informational changes really come to the fore in thinking about mutations. So even though we're talking about changes to molecules, almost all of the language that we're going to be using is the language of information, copying, proofreading, correcting, mistakes, recognition. Now, to give you a bit of perspective on the lectures, I've grouped them. So the first two lectures are about the basics of mutations, in particular, what they are, how often they happen, and why they happen so rarely, because in fact the rates are astonishingly low. We'll talk about the consequences of mutations in a series of lectures, why most mutations are harmless, and the kinds of harm that other mutations do. We'll consider briefly beneficial mutations as well. We'll make the important distinction between somatic mutations and germline mutations, the latter we can pass on to our offspring, but the former, which are restricted to cells that don't pass to the next generation, these are the mutations that cause cancer. We'll then spend a couple of lectures talking about mutagens, things that increase the mutation rate, and whether or not these are things we need to worry about. And then finally, we'll pull things together into this big evolutionary context, um, thinking about how natural selection acts on mutations, how genes evolve, and how we can use the accumulation of sequence differences to investigate how evolution happens. Now, coming up next is the first lecture, lecture on mutation basics. Here's DNA polymerase, feeling good because it made a mistake and it corrected it. I hope to see you there.